Okay, so here we are with uh, this video, help with the message about content being blocked, and then I'll show you this link too, uh, which is the actual Microsoft site to deal with it. So what ends up happening is uh, over the last, I don't know, it seems like it gets worse every, every not just year, maybe every month, uh, but uh, the restrictions on access files uh, through emails and, and downloading from websites and opening on your computer get more and more restrictive. So you've got things that will block this out and hopefully you don't see this message. I mean, hopefully you're fine and you're good to go or maybe get the yellow one that you'll, I'll show you, you know, in a couple of minutes. Uh, but what I want to show you is you're going to, uh, you know, an assignment and I'm going to use the one uh, just, just this getting started in access and I'll use these files here. Okay. So the two files that you'll see, this one at the bottom is the challenge one, and then the other one at the top is the, uh, just the, um, oh, I think I pulled the managing one, the managing databases, but we can do either one, it doesn't really matter. So when you go to download the file, you know, click on this, or you download it from this other link over here, uh, you know, from here you can click on this and go to the download link from inside there. Either way, whatever's easiest for you to do, okay? So you've downloaded the file, you know where the file's saved, and then you go to open it. So for me, uh, I just save these in my downloads folder. So I'm gonna come over here. Uh, these are files uh, that I'm playing with that, it, that I've been messing around with today. Um, so I've got uh, these files here. Now, I wanna show you just really quickly, I'm sort of tangenting a little bit. This is a little tangent. <laughs> uh, but uh, you notice that these two files look exactly the same. So Access Getting Started Challenge Database, okay? The ACCDB. That is the Microsoft Access, ACC, and then DB is for database, okay? And then right below it, this one, you see after the dot, it says Microsoft Access Record Locking Information. See this? This is an L. It's hard to tell, but this file is locked. What that means is that file is currently open. I currently have that file open in Microsoft Access. So as a homework note, when you are going to be turning your assignments in, save your files, save your databases, close completely out of access, close it down altogether. This file, as soon as I close it down, in fact, let's try it. Let's see if it goes away. So I've got this right here. Here's the file. I'm gonna close this down. Um, boom, and bye bye file. And you notice, look at that, boom, went away, okay? So that file is no longer there. It's, uh, it's gone, my little, this one is just here without the, uh, without the L in there, okay? So then that would be the one you would upload. If you upload the one that has the L in front of it, I can't open it, okay? So it's a, it's a locked file and I can't open it. That's just you opening on your computer. Okay, so be very careful of that. Um, so close the way to avoid that altogether, not have any issues, just close the file, uh, close out of access completely so that um, all of those go away, all right? So I want to show you uh, this error that, that I've been talking about. Okay, so if I open this file, I don't think I fixed this one yet. Yeah, perfect. Okay. So the active content in this file is blocked. Review your trust center settings or contact your IT administrator. Like what? <laughs> right? Uh, so this is a new one for most of you probably. So I'm going to click OK. And, uh, and here's the file. Now, Here's this little thing right here, the security risk. You notice it in pink. So Microsoft has blocked macros from running because the source of this file is untrusted. So you can click on learn more, this little piece right here. And what happens is it goes to this website, which is also this link right here. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, Microsoft help, a potentially dangerous macro has been blocked. That is this site. Uh, and so it comes to this site. It has an actually really terrible video. Um, two minute video that's terrible. Uh, it didn't really help me at all, but uh, anyway, it does, but it's not great. So hopefully this one's better. Don't see a message that said yours is worse than the Microsoft video. Uh, but if you scroll down a little bit, notice I'm scrolling here, go below the video, what should I do now? All this stuff right here, making sure that you're not, I'm not a stranger, uh, all this kind of stuff, right? So you're gonna come down, notice this piece that says unblock a single file. This is the easiest way to deal with it. And it's kind of a pain, but once you've done it a couple times, you'll be like, okay, I'll just do this and it's no problem. Okay, so it gives you the instructions. So open this and go to the folder where you save the file. Okay, so this is where I'm gonna go ahead and pull this up. This is my downloads folder. Okay, so this is where I have, where I save the file. You can see it in there, I was showing you a second ago. Um, and so this is the file. So I need to go in here. I'm just gonna go ahead and close this down just because. 
Uh, and now I've got both these files in here. So this was the one that uh, the managing database is one that I was having the issue with. Okay, so I am going to right click, which is what they say right here, and choose properties. Okay, so I'm gonna, just so you can see it, folder where you save the file, wherever, it doesn't matter, mine's in the downloads folder. So right click the file and choose properties, it's at the bottom. When you do that, it brings up this little menu and you notice it looks just like this one, except they're dealing with it with a macro in Word, we're dealing with a macro in Access, okay? Down here, they've highlighted in red, this file came from another computer, might be blocked to protect this computer, blah, blah, blah. Click unblock, okay? Then I'm gonna hit apply, okay? And now that file, when I go to open it, now, here's my little piece in here, the active content, a little bit different, in this file is blocked. Review this, blah, blah, blah. So I'm gonna say okay. This time, the security warning is the yellow one. Now, this is what you used to get for years. Um, you get this little yellow banner, and so I don't know how many people are actually gonna get the pink one. If you're watching this video, you probably got the pink one. Uh, so let me know, send me a message. I'm just curious to see if you've, if you've gotten that. Um, I didn't have any students with this problem last semester, but I'm just trying to be proactive with the video because I got it on my home computer and I've never gotten that before. Uh, so anyway, so there's that. So this security warning, some content has been disabled. Again, you can click for more details or just click enable content. Um, all these files are safe uh, that you've got from Canvas if you download them directly from Canvas. If you got this from a website, uh, yeah, I, I would say steer clear, okay? But if, uh, if you've got this in here, and the reason why is because in these, uh, with some of this content, some of the macro stuff that they can do, they can easily put viruses and other things to take control of your computers, search through you know, your safe password, do whatever they want in there. So that's why this is such a dangerous thing. But these files are safe from Canvas. Um, they've been scanned, they're, they're totally fine. Um, and so I can click enable content, that goes away. Now I can use this file just like I created it myself. I can save it, um, you know, add things to it and do all that kind of stuff, okay? So yellow is fine, just hit enable content. The pink one, close the file out and then simply go to it, right click on it, properties. And if you've got the, this one already cleared, so I don't have an issue with it anymore. That's why it does that. But remember this piece will be down here just like this. Say unblock, apply okay, uh, whichever. And then you're, uh, then you're good to go from there. And if you forget how to do that, that's why I put this link right here to this Microsoft site because that's the easiest little thing, even though I ripped on their video. Um, <laughs> the actual page is nice. Okay, so this little link right here and then you come down here, this is perfect. Okay, there's a way to do it for an actual site and only do it one time and all that. It's much more complicated um, and it depends on their computer and you're dealing with stuff that I don't want you to deal with. Um, so we'll keep it simple. This is a very easy way to do it. Um, and like I said, you're going to do this a couple times and you'll, you'll be like, if you have to, if you're watching this video, then you're having to. Um, and then you'll just right click on it, clear the file and you're good to go. Okay, so anyway, just a quick eight minutes, I'm sorry, but I wanted to be proactive in, in, in showing people that there's an easy way to get around that, okay? So let me know if you have any questions, but that should, uh, should get you going.